What's up everyone? Mike Layton, snowboard expert with carrydata.com. And I just got off of the 2022 Jones Mountain Twin. First off, I'm not sponsored by any brands, any reviews, opinions you hear from me, totally unbiased. I really just want to get you on the best gear. Now I rode the 158 wide. The board comes in a variety of sizes all the way from the really small sizes down into the, their twin sister range, which is the ladies version. The Jones Mountain Twin features the 3D contour base, which has four millimeters of spoon bevel coming from the contact point. So it creates nice float. It's both in the tip and the tail. What I really noticed with this board is that it's rated as a medium stiff flex. It's a seven to 10 on their, their rating. I thought it was a little softer than that for me, but I am tend to be a very aggressive rider that puts a lot of pressure on their snowboard. That said, once I got it up on edge, it held an edge great. It felt really good. We were straight landing on this thing. It was so stable, so solid. Just playing all around, riding through some bumps, some side hits, carving, switching regular. This board kind of does it all. This board would be the perfect board for someone that needs a, like a one board quiver. More so in like Colorado, the Rocky Mountains or, or the West Coast that you see a lot of fresh snow. It also features a hybrid shape where there's camber under feet with early rise rocker in the tip and tail that really helps with that edge hold with that camber underfoot to that rocker in the nose and the tail really helps float switch irregular. This thing is a rocket ship, super stable. There's a ton of pops. So if you want to take this in the jump line and get upside down or just you're learning your first 360, this is a great board. It's also super forgiving and playful. I was buttering around on it, switching back around on some flatland tricks. Really, really enjoyed it. Hey guys, Ariel from Curated.com, and I just got done riding the 2022 Jones Twin Sister. It's extremely easy to turn. The board is able to be approached a little bit more by maybe a more intermediate rider. And then for those intermediate to advanced riders that might wanna go take this board out, you may find it to be a little squirrely at points, but on the flip side of that, I feel that that's what makes this board kind of playful. And I really enjoyed the flex of this board. I was able to press it. I was able to butter it. I took this board through some bumps. I took this board through some trees. I would say with that ease of turning and maneuverability, I loved it in and out of the trees. And I actually really liked it in the bumps. Where I personally didn't love it was in a little bit of that chunder. It was a little sketchy for me. I truly think this board could be approached by any intermediate rider. If you are a beginner that feels really, really strong and wants a board to progress to and kind of grow into, I think you could rock this board. And then if you are an expert rider, I think you could have a blast on this board like I just did. It really did everything I needed it to do. If you're constantly just riding deep days, you might want something with a little bit more float to it. This will do fine, you know, in a foot of powder or if you tend to ride a lot of big, steep technical stuff, I might want a stiffer snowboard like the Jones flagship. But overall, for someone that's looking, you know, in that intermediate enough, someone that's looking for that first board, that really nice setup, this board is perfect for you. If you want to find the best gear for your next adventure, go to curator.com, either find my profile or get matched with an expert to find the perfect gear for your next adventure. And if you like what you see and want to see more awesome content from us, Hit that subscribe button, whether that's here, 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 or there, there, I don't know.